here's an update from Media Mark here on May 23rd, 2013. We're buzzing right through the year here. We're almost towards hurricane season. And just in time for hurricane season, I will be coming up with my hurricane forecast. Sorry it's taken so long, but there's been some factors that have been changing. And it's allowed me to back off on my hurricane, original hurricane forecast. I don't want to give you a forecast that I think is going to be bad. So let's get right into a photo here sent in from Matthew Serber. Uh, this was from yesterday, Johnson City, Tennessee. He shared Michael Gibson's photo. Thank you, Matthew, for sending this in. Look at this really big mesoscale type system here. This is a low-hanging cloud deck, almost like a, uh, a sh almost like a shelf cloud. It's hard to identify, but it shows some rotating here going on, and it's very well defined. So thank you, Matthew, for sending that in. That was Johnson City, Tennessee, from uh, yesterday. Heading on up to uh, New York State, uh, Johnson City, New York, from uh, Johnson City here, uh, Joe Drehos from last night. Some light, some beautiful lightning pictures here. Look at this. I'll, I'll keep off the screen here so you can see the whole photos. Look at these nice lightning shots here. Oh, look at this one. This one, this one's my favorite. It goes right across the sky just like that. From, I believe that's arcing from. Well, I'm not sure what direction that is, but uh, here's another one. Very nice and uh, very nice photos. Thank you, Joe Drehos from Johnson City, New York. Uh, that was from that thunderstorm line that moved through most of Pennsylvania last night and a little bit in the southern tier of New York, but we're not looking, we didn't look at too much in the way of damage. We did have some wind damage in north central Pennsylvania across uh, Tioga County and uh, parts of uh, uh, Bradford County and extending down towards Williamsport and State College area. It had some wind damage as well. So we're going to get right into the forecast here, the 48-hour uh, quantitative precipitation amounts here. Look at this. Um, the focus is across south Texas here, central Texas, over towards Oklahoma, one to two inches of rain all the way up through Iowa here the next 48 hours through TGIF and Saturday evening. Wow, it's almost here. And then across the northeast, I'll focus very... Uh, much so on the northeast here, we'll get up to four inches of rain, especially in some of the mountains here of New Hampshire, Maine, and extending over towards Vermont. And it's a nor'easter. That's right, a nor'easter with heavy rain. Snow elevations above 4,000 feet, up to five inches possible. We're still talking about snow, but thankfully it's in the highest of elevations. Let's get right into the forecast here. Let me step off the screen so you can see some of the temperatures for tomorrow. And uh, conditions remaining cool behind the front. Cool definitely is the statement here. And here we have that low winding up here in the northeast. You can see heavy rain here in New England. It's going to be a raw, chilly, horrible day with northeast winds 25, 35 miles per hour, gust into 45 miles per hour. Anywhere from Boston, Binghamton, Albany, Syracuse, all the way over towards northern New England as well, extending down towards New York City. Maybe slightly warmer, but not much warmer than the 40s or 50s. And extending down towards Washington, D.C. here. Here in the Southern Plains, we continue with that severe threat possible. So we'll continue to watch for those severe thunderstorms in and around Oklahoma City, extending down towards Dallas here. Not very good news for them. And Saturday, we're going to skip right from TGIF here all the way to Saturday. And look at this. Let me step off the screen so you can see them temperatures. It really starts to get a little chilly across portions of the east here. And you can see those 50s mar marking their way down the Appalachians, 40s in northern New England. Flash flooding likely across northern New England, northern New Hampshire, northern Vermont, and down east Maine, up into the north central Maine. Uh, very prevalent to see a lot of this winding low pressure system winding up to 985 to 990 millibars, possibly in that range we'll see if the models take shape on that but even if it bombs down to 995 it's still a strong system lots of heavy rain throughout much and here across the southern plains here this is where we're going to be looking at a lot of the deal of showers and thunderstorms with the severe threat continuing from Oklahoma City down to Dallas and portions of the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma that's going to do it for Media Mark. There's not too much else to talk about. I'm working on my Hurricane Outlook. Like me on Facebook at Media Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube. I have been able to change my name to a little bit easier to just Media Mark on YouTube. So if you need to search for me on YouTube, it's Media Mark. 
Website MediaMark.com. Here's a four-day forecast for my hometown viewers from Binghamton, Delmira, in the northern tier counties of Pennsylvania. Extending on in the day, TGIF, Susquehanna region of New York. We're going to continue with those showers. Look at this. Mid-40s, winds 35 miles per hour out of the northeast. Lows are around 45. We're not moving much. This is horrible. But TGIF, Saturday, look at this. Lows through the 30s, through Sunday and Monday, even Sunday night, we could be approaching freezing to frost status again. Unbelievable. We're heading into June almost towards Memorial Day. Memorial Day, by the way, looking a uh, bit nicer, sunny, mid-60s. Sunday, of course, Saturday. Saturday being cool, but not as cool as TGIF. Saturday will be in the low 50s with that continued wind, but at least we'll clear out and we'll remain sunny through Memorial Day. That's going to do it for Meteo Mark.